Marvel's complete guide. Magic. The first thing old Chuck should probably point out is that the title of this guide is Magic, not Wizards, not Warlocks, not Spells. As we all know, that kind of magic is real as heck and can make a fireball explode in a dungeon so that the buttholder can't chase you down and turn you to stone with his magic butt. The type of magic I'm talking about this time around is magic tricks, the kind that you would see someone do at your son's birthday party 20 years ago and uh, made everyone cry. Or the kind that would present you with a handsome wear tiger and then have him disappear from your life forever. Magic tricks have been around since Buckaroos discovered you could take a little bit of science and special secret knowledge and then turn it around to impress your buds. But back in the day, its purposes were more often for a scoundrel nature, like making someone's wallet magically disappear, or pretending to pull a snake out of your belly, and then charging for snake supplies. Even more recently, devils used magic tricks for a scoundrel way, like when Pete Popoff got caught saying, fill out these personal forms and when you come to my church. Also, 10 minutes later I will read your soul and tell you the personal depths and heal you of your sickness. Also, now that you are fake healed, I would like your money. But at some point, the con artists decided to start using their powers for fun times instead of sad days ahead. And soon enough, buckaroos were gathering around to be entertained in this way. Biggest magician back then, and probably still, was Harry's Houdini, who came up with all kinds of fun tricks and gained fame trying around saying, Punch me, I will not flinch, or Lock me in this cage underwater, I will not drown. He came up with all kinds of ways of making friends with locks and whispering sweet nothings of love and affection into their ears while nobody was looking. Next thing you know, he's coming up for air with a tasty fish dinner for the party later. One time, Harry talked a whale into swallowing him so that he could escape the belly later. The whale did not make it, but the crowd was very impressed. This kind of up-close and personal magic trick is a similar way of straight magic these days. This is a very intimate trick that must rely on misdirection and sleight of hand. Like when someone trots right up to you and says, I have a rabbit in my hat, and you say, you do not have a rabbit in your hat. And then they say, you are right, it is in my butt! A very common tool in this kind of magical way is a deck of cards. These are the standard way of playing. Get to 21, but if you go over, you are a loser. Also, you can count these cards, but also, we will kick you out if you do. This is a simple game with a complicated name. Also, Texan Poker, which is a simple name for a complicated game of saying, I did not lie about my secret cards, did you? Actually, I did lie. Actually, I didn't. Actually, I did. And magic. These decks of cards are used to make numbers match or put things in interesting orders. Sometimes this is done with a special trick deck which looks like normal cards but actually has a secret unique way. Sometimes this is done with a card force which is based on Star's War, specifically when Dark Bader uses his force to get you to choose something you don't want to choose. No! opposite way of this is stage magic, where you have folks trying around on stage in fancy costumes dropping elephants through trap doors, or appearing on the balcony in a burst of smoke like the butt pounder of the opera. This kind of show usually has big machines doing some of the work, which some buckaroos might think is uh, not fair. After all, there is contract with magic, where audience subliminally says, Okay, you're going to do a trick for me, but you gotta be clever about it, or I will be disappointed and frustrated. Example of this would be Bob Zombie's reverse twin, Christopher Angle, who likes to ride around on motorcycles and then pay a crowd to gasp when they cut the camera and wheel it away. This is way of video editing and makes folks disappointed because they say, that wasn't even a dang trick. You just stopped the camera, buddy. You gotta be clever, not lazy. Fortunately, there are all kinds of magicians to choose from, like Penn and Tucker and Zangfried and Roy. 
all with their own unique style of making you gasp and say, what the heck? This man named of Chuck, I like this gasping moment that sends a tingle down my spine. It is the same tingle I feel when I read a good romance book, or hear a powerful song, or watch a moving film. I could go into details, talking on the science of this way that makes our hair stand on end. But at the end of the dang day, there's still a little bit in there we don't understand. A little spark of the unknown that makes life worth trotting. I guess when you really think about it, that spark is just as important as the fireball in a wizard's dungeon. Maybe magic tricks are real magic. It just depends on how you look at it.